Hello and welcome everyone to Infinity Learn by Shri Chaitanya. I am Ravindram and today I am going to be discussing the physics portion of your half grand test 01. Okay, so come on, let's begin with the first question. Keep a pencil and a paper with you while I am solving. You also solve the question paper along with me. Okay, so let's begin with the very first question. So a slit of width A is illuminated by white light. The first minimum for red light will fall at. See for minima we have this formula sin theta is equals to lambda upon a. Now what is theta here? Thirty degrees. It is already given. Sin thirty degrees is equals to lambda by a. So a will be what? Lambda upon sin thirty degrees. And do you know what is sin thirty? Sin thirty is very simple. It is one by two. So it will be two lambda. And what is lambda? Sixty five hundred angstroms. So two into sixty five hundred. Angstroms. So from here you will say, sir, A will be one three zero double zero angstroms. So I can say it is one point three micrometer or microns, right? So which option is matching? The third option is matching here. Do you understand? Remember this formula in a single slit in a single width, uh, single slit diffraction. This is the formula that we use for minima. So minima will fall at an angle theta such that sin theta must be equal to lambda by a. Lambda is the wavelength, a is the width of the slit. Polaroid glasses used in sun glasses because Polaroid glasses because what happens after polarization the intensity is also reduced. Okay, so generally if you take this as a polarizer and a light which is unpolarized. An unpolarized light is coming with an intensity of I naught. So after passing through this polarizer, its intensity will, on an average, become half I naught by two. So as to reduce the glare, as to reduce the intensity of the light, we use polarized glasses in sun. Polarized glass in sun glasses, right? Third, a conducting sphere of radius r, conducting sphere of radius r and charge Q, the electric potential and the electric field at the center C. Electric potential at the center will be K Q upon R. It is constant everywhere. Field inside a hollow conducting sphere or a conducting sphere, field is always zero inside, right? And what is K? One by four pi epsilon naught. So Q by four pi epsilon naught R. Which option is correct? Second option, I guess, which is it is matching. Fourth, the total electric flux leaving a spherical surface of radius one centimeter and surrounding. Electric dipole. Oh, very good. Minus Q and plus Q. So this is a dipole, and this is the Gaussian surface of that. That in the form of that sphere, right? See, we say that magnetic flux vector B, sorry, electric flux vector E dot vector D S integration over the complete loop is always equals to Q in upon epsilon naught according to Gauss theorem. Total internal charge will be zero as it's a dipole. So answer will be zero. Which one of the following statements is correct? Magnetic lines of forces are closed curves. Absolutely correct. And electrostatic lines are not. Absolutely correct. First option is right. If you feel that first option is right, don't read second, third, and fourth option unless and until this is a multiple choice correct. Okay. An electric dipole of dipole moment P is aligned parallel to a uniform electric field. The energy required to rotate it. See. Initially, they have given that theta initial is zero degrees. They want theta final to be ninety degrees. Do you know what is the change in potential energy? You will say, sir, P E into cos theta initial minus cos theta final. Do you understand? So it is P into E into cos of zero degrees. Minus cos of 90 degrees and what is cos 90? Cos 90 is zero. Cos zero is one. So answer is P into E, and this is the change in potential energy. And we also know that work done by external torque must be equal to change in potential energy if overall change in kinetic energy is zero. So we can equate and get this answer also, right? Seven for an equal potential surface. See if this is an equal potential surface. The electric lines of forces will always be perpendicular to the surface. Do you understand? The electric lines of forces will always be perpendicular to the surface. So, which option is correct? First option is correct. Got it? 
Eight in a region of space, the electric field is given. Okay, the electric flux through the area. First of all, what is flux? Flux is vector e dot vector a. Can you write the vector a first of all? Hundred units in x y plane. See. Suppose if I say this is x, this is y, and this is z. So area is what like this. If I say how much is the area? Hundred units. But where is the area vector always remember area vector is perpendicular to the surface area that means perpendicular to x y plane we have z axis that means it must be k cap now what you do flux will be 8 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 3 k cap dot dot 100 k cap so I guess dot product will be 300 units. Okay. Nine. There are 27 drops of conducting fluid and each has a radius small r and they are charged to potential V not V not. Okay. So let's say the small charge on each drop like these. How many charges are how many drops are there? 27 drops. Okay. So the potential V not will be K into small Q upon small r. This is equation number one. Now when these combine to form a bigger drop, so let's say the bigger drop has radius r and these have radius small r. So volume conservation we will say 4 by 3 pi capital R q must be equal to 27 into 4 by 3 pi small r q. This is volume conservation and from volume conservation my dear students you will say r is equals to 3 times small r. Right? This is second equation. Now next is, now this contains how much charge? 27 small q because all of them are con combined so charge conservation will also be there so actually we are using two principles here one is volume conservation another one is charge conservation so now the potential will be k into 27 q upon capital r which is three times small r so 27 k q by three times small r so V will be 9 K Q by R. So it is 9 V naught. Do you understand? So this is your answer. Third option is correct. Question number 10. An object is put at a distance of 5 cm from the first focus of a convex lens of focal length 10 cm. Okay. So this is a, let's say, it's a convex lens, right? So this is a convex lens given to us and they are saying an object is placed where it is placed at a distance 5 cm from the first focus 5 cm from the first focus whose focal length? So focal length is how much sorry focal length is how much 10 cm it is density so so there are two possibilities either object is placed 5 cm here or 5 cm here. The distance from the lens will be if a real image is formed. See, if you keep at this particular position, image will definitely be virtual. That means this is wrong because they are saying the image is real. That means he is keeping it here. Now, there's a concept, students, for converging, converging lens. Converging lens, always remember if u is equals to 3f by 2 like minus 3f by 2 so v will be positive 3f image will be real and inverted got it so here as you can see that f f is 10 centimeter and f by 2 is 5 centimeter and u is minus 15 centimeter that means minus 3f by 2 and if it is minus 3f by 2 my dear students then v will be 3f that means this is 2f so image will be formed somewhere here like this so if this is the object image will be formed here and the size of the object will be double suppose this is h so it will become 2h and if this distance is 3f by 2 it will be 3f okay so distance gets doubled and the height also gets doubled do you understand so remember this case this is a special case question number 11 
the difference in maximum and minimum magnification of astronomical telescope is 2.4 see maximum magnification is this what is this f naught by f e into 1 plus f e by d and what is minimum that is for infinite cases or relaxed eyes or we call it normal adjustment the answer is f naught by f e right so what is the difference m d minus m infinity it will be f naught by d now what is f naught we need to find out what is d 25 centimeter and what is this difference given it is 2.4 so you will say sir d is sorry you will say sir f naught is 2.4 into d so 2.4 into d is 25 centimeter so i hope it is how much 25 into 2.4 is 60 centimeter do you understand now a fish at a depth of 12 centimeter in water is viewed okay through what height so difference they are asking see difference is that means uh, see apparent depth is this d by mu relative so what is the difference you will say sir d dash minus sorry d minus d dash so it will be d minus d by mu relative so d is common 1 minus 1 by mu relative now what is mu relative students see mu relative is mu of incident rays mu of incident rays or object upon mu of reflected rays that means not mu of reflected it is the refractive index of the medium in which incident rays are there or reflect refractive or refractive index of the medium in which reflected rays are there right so if you take a look here suppose this is the fish you want to see so the rays are gonna come like this do you understand so where are incident rays the incident rays are these these blue ones are the incident rays so they are in which medium water 4 by 3 and these are reflected rays they are in which medium air so you will say 4 by 3 upon 1 that is 4 by 3 now you put the formula and get your answer what is that answer d is how much 12 centimeter 1 minus 1 upon 4 by 3 that is 1 minus 3 by 4 that is 12 by 4 that is 3 centimeter got it so this is how you have to solve this question number 13 okay in a metallic conductor if the cross sectional area is changing remember i which is equals to n e a v d this is constant okay n and e are also constant so area into drift current is also always constant so if you change the area then drift velocity will change okay drift velocity will change but current will not change one more thing what is drift velocity drift velocity is e tau by m times electric field so if drift speed is changing electric field is also changing that means drift is changing so it is not the correct answer electric field is also changing and what is current density see current density is again a constant sigma into electric field that means if electric field is changing current density is also changing so what is not changing is current so which option is correct fourth option got it students for this i have uploaded a video on drift current on the jwe channel of infinity learn please go and watch that video also students okay on drift current i have uploaded a video on the jwe channel of infinity learn okay so you can watch and learn about this concept very well so the ease with which i have solved this question here you can also solve it with such an ease if you watch that video thank you so much let's move ahead <laughs> question number 14 the equivalent resistance between a and b see these 4 and 8 are in series 4 and 8 in series will become 12 then we will say 12 and 6 12 and 6 they are in parallel so 12 and 6 in parallel will become what 4 right so then you will say sir 4 4 8 so in series it will become 16 4 plus 4 plus 8 16 got it now here apply junction law 2 ampere and 2 ampere are current current coming this is 4 this is 1 ampere going here so 3 ampere coming here 1.3 going here so it will be 
थ्री माइनस वन पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज दैट इज टू पॉइंट सॉरी वन पॉइंट सेवन एम्पियर कॉट इट सेल ऑफ ई एम एफ अगेन सो देर्स अ फॉर्मूला स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर दिस थिंग स्मॉल आर इज इक्वल्स टू कैपिटल आर इन टू एल वन माइनस एल टू अपॉन एल टू ओके वॉट इज एल वन फिफ्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर वॉट इज एल टू फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर वॉट इज आर टू ओम्स सो यू विल से कैपिटल आर इन टू इनिशियल लेंथ वॉज फिफ्टी फाइव फाइनली आफ्टर कनेक्शन इट इज फिफ्टी अपॉन फिफ्टी सो फ्रॉम हियर यू विल सॉल्व एंड से आर इज ट्वेंटी ओम्स दिस फॉर्मूला दिस इज द फॉर्मूला विच फॉर्मूला इज दिस सी दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वेन यू यूज अ पोटेंशियो मीटर टू फाइंड आउट द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ बैटरी सो वॉट दे डू इज द फर्स्ट यूज सेल ओके दिस इज द स्विच अनदर नोन रेजिस्टेंस इज देर लाइक दिस कैपिटल आर राइट दिस इज स्मॉल आर एंड दिस इज ई एम एफ सो फर्स्ट दे टेक द रीडिंग ओके, सो फर्स्ट दे टेक अ रीडिंग लाइक दिस सो इनिशियली इट इज कमिंग एल वन दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर नाउ एट दैट टाइम इट मेजर्स ओनली द वैल्यू ऑफ ई एम एफ और नेक्स्ट टाइम वॉट दे डू इज They take another reading, which is L two. When when it is connected, which is fifty centimeter. So like this, so L one and L two, two readings are taken. First without connecting the switch, another with connecting the switch. After connecting the switch, the reading becomes lesser. So remember, L one minus L two upon L two into capital R will give you small r. Use this formula always. It it works. Okay. So. Question number seventeen. A charged particle moving through a magnetic field perpendicular to its direction. Then see, magnetic field applies a force, but the problem is that this force is perpendicular to magnetic. No, sorry, perpendicular to its speed or sorry velocity. Perpendicular to its velocity. So this force will be perpendicular to velocity. This force will be perpendicular to magnetic field, and if a force is perpendicular to velocity constantly, that means it is of centripetal nature. So it cannot change the speed, but only direction. So energy will remain constant. It cannot change the speed. It cannot change the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy will be constant. But since momentum is a vector quantity, it depends upon velocity. So since this force can change the direction, so obviously it can change the momentum, right? So momentum changes, but the kinetic energy doesn't changes. Eighteen. The magnetic moment associated with a circular coil. Okay. See the formula for magnetic moment is very simple. It is n i times vector a. So here you will say, sir, n i a. N is given thirty five area. You can find out pi r square. Convert radius centimeter into meter, and current is also given. In order to pass ten percent of the main current through a moving coil galvanometer, ten percent of the main current. That means i by ten is equal to i g. Okay, so In a moving coil galvanometer, in order to make it a emitter, we shunt it. This is shunt resistance. This is coil resistance. They are saying that the current that is coming here is I, and the current that is going in the galvanometer is I by ten, and the current that will be going here will be nine I by ten. Ten percent means what? Ten I by hundred. So it is I by ten. So you will say that sir, nine I by ten. Into small r must be equal to I by 10 into galvanometer coil resistance R G. Got it? So obviously I I 10 and 10 will get cancelled, and you will say, sir, R is R G upon 9. What is R G? 99 upon 9. What is this? 11 ohms. Third option is correct. Can you see this? The horizontal component C. We know that. We know that simple, simple concept here. Okay, so this is B H, this is dip, this is B V, and this is B. So what will you say? Angle of dip is sixty degrees. The value of vertical component C ten of sixty degrees is equals to what? Vertical component upon horizontal component. So, what is vertical component? 
रूट थ्री इंटू पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस फोर सो बी वी बिकम्स रूट थ्री इंटू थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस फाइव टेस्ला और वेबर पर मीटर स्क्वायर नो प्रॉब्लम राइट टू रेल्स ओके सी थीज आर द टू रेल्स एंड इन बिटवीन देर इज अ ट्रैक देर इज अ ट्रेन सपोज ट्रेन इज गोइंग लाइक दिस ट्रेन इज एक्टिंग सिंपली लाइक अ लीनियर स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर मूविंग इन अ यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड टू यू अंडरस्टैंड सो इट्स लेंथ इज एल सो वॉट इज द ई एम एफ इंड यूज टू यू नो दैट बी वी एल दैट्स ऑल वॉट इज बी पॉइंट टू इन टू टेन टू दावर माइनस फोर वॉट इज बी ट्वेंटी वॉट इज लेंथ वन मीटर आई गेस दंसर इज क्लियर पॉइंट फोर मिली वोल्ड्स वॉट इट ट्वेंटी वन फ्लक्स इन अ क्लोज सर्किट ओके फाइन इंड्यूस्ड ई एम एफ सी इंड्यूस्ड ई एम एफ इज नथिंग बट माइनस डी फाइव बाय डी टी नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस माइनस इन टू ट्वेल्व टी स्क्वेर प्लस फोर टी माइनस फिफ्टीन अब पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी एज वन सेकेंड्स सो माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर माइनस फिफ्टीन दैट इज माइनस वन वोल्ट कॉड एट ना ट्वेंटी थ्री See the self inductance is directly proportional to mu that means permeability and is also directly proportional to n square that is number of turns it does not depend upon current right so l depends upon the properties of the material or then that and the design or construction of the coil so number of turns definitely depends iron ore by because what will happen if you insert an iron ore so mu relative is what mu times mu not right so instead of uh, we will say that sorry 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 hmm. mu relative is mu by mu not so the value of mu will be mu relative into mu not so if you insert an iron ore then permeability will change and hence the induct self inductance will change that is why c and d are correct so here power dissipated is what irms vrms cos phi what is irms peak value upon root 2 what is vrms peak value upon root 2 remember current is milli in milli amperes so we have to divide it by 1000 also cos phi is cos of 60 degrees cos 60 is what 1 by 2 so p will be how much you tell me very simple 1 2 3 1 2 3 10 upon 4 that is 2.5 watts which option is correct third option is correct got it change in angular momentum see angular momentum mvr is equals to nh upon 2 pi right so change in angular momentum will be h upon 2 pi into n final minus n initial fifth minus 5 minus 4 is 1 so answer is h upon 2 pi why because this is 5 and this is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 light of frequency c if nu is 1.8 times nu not definitely nu not is a threshold frequency definitely what will happen photoelectric effect will occur but if you reduce the frequency to half its value that means 0.9 nu not now what will happen the frequency is less than threshold frequency so no photoelectric effect do you understand because this time the energy of the photons have been uh, reduced to a value lesser than the work function of the metal okay that is why there will be no photoelectric effect and answer will be zero the de broglie wavelength see, lambda is equals to h by p which is equals to h by root over 2 mk so lambda is inversely proportional to root k so if you increase the kinetic energy to double times lambda will become lambda by root 2 got it see here we have a formula r is equals to radius of nucleus is a to the power 1 by 3 so area so if you say area of 
aluminium upon area let's say aluminium to be area let's say like this area of aluminium upon area of zinc will be will be r not r not will get cancelled so it will become 27 upon 64 whole to the power 1 by 3 so it will become how much 3 by 4 right one minute one minute student okay let me write down what is area area is 4 pi r square so it will be 4 pi r naught square into a to the power 2 by 3 now s1 upon s2 will be a1 upon a2 to the power 2 by 3 a kitna hai? what is a a is actually the mass number so what is s1 s1 is for aluminium so it is given s0 by s2 for aluminium it is 27 by 64 to the power 2 by 3 which will become 9 by 16 so s2 will be 16 by 9 s0 first option is correct did you understand so they have used this formula now be very very careful okay now zener diode this is a good question this is a good question right see they have given the drop across the zener diode is 15 volts so this drop will also be 15 volts so let's find out what is the current here let's say the current here is i2 and let's say the current going in the zener diode is i1 and let's say the current coming here is i so you will say sir i2 into 90 is equals to 15 right so from here i2 will be 15 upon 90 that is 1 by 6 ampere okay first step second step now what is the drop here you will say sir 15 volts is dropped here so there will be 22 minus 15 that is 7 volts of drop is occurring here so you will say sir i into 35 is equals to 7 so i is equals to 1 by 5 ampere now third step you will say sir current going in zener diode will be i minus i2 that is 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 so i will be 1 by 30 ampere now what you need is power consumed in the zener diode fourth step power consumed in zener diode will be what power will be i into v so it is 1 by 30 don't worry zener diodes where is zener diodes resistance the power formula is i into v only or i square r or v square by r right into 15 so what is the answer 0.5 watts first option is correct done 30 here this is absolutely or gate y because let's say a b and bulb see if you close any switch suppose a but remain b open still the bulb is gonna glow if you keep uh, suppose if you keep a open but b close again the bulb will close because the circuit will be complete if you keep both of them close again the bulb will glow but if you keep both open then only the bulb will not glow so i guess this matches with or gate got it now here see we know one thing that magnetic field into speed of light is electric field right so 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 3 into 10 to the power 8 will give you electric fields peak value sorry peak values so electric fields peak value will be 6 t okay volt per meter or newton per coulomb whatever it is right now the thing is 60 we have two options 60 and 60 and remaining things are same they should not change right so which option is correct second or fourth see electric field if magnetic field is along z axis if you say like this see and the propagation is happening along x axis see magnetic field is along z axis this is y and propagation is happening along x axis that means if magnetic field is oscillating in this plane 
if magnetic field is oscillating in this plane electric field must oscillate in its perpendicular plane so it has to be ey do you understand that is why we took ey to be correct option this will be wrong anyways these are wrong because magnitudes are not matching second one is wrong because the direction is not matching okay 32 first option everybody knows this is a basic basic equation basic line of device and german experiment two strings okay see the formula for speed on a string is root over t by mu mu is linear mass density or we should also say root over t upon rho into a density into area so what is area area is pi r square if tension density everything is constant we can say it is inversely proportional to r okay if if t is constant tension is same materials are also same then we can say like this so va by vb will be clear so va by vb will be rb upon ra now what is rb rb radius of a is double a radius of a is double so it is rb upon 2 rb so one second so answer will be 1 by 2 got it first option matches 34th see here a vessel whose air column is open at both ends open at both ends that means what is fundamental frequency it is v by 2l what is v 340 what is 2 into l and this is what 5100 simple concept see this is cancelled 17 twos are 17 threes are right so it will be 30 okay cool now this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so length will be 1 by 30 meters or 100 by 30 cm which is also 10 by 3 cm second option is correct a tuning fork 480 hertz 10 beats are produced 10 beats are produced so answer is either 490 hertz gap is 10 or again the gap is 10 for here 470 hertz can you see that now this is tuning fork so sonometer wire if you increase the tension the frequency increases right so if frequency increases so in this case if you increase the frequency beat frequency will be greater than 10 and in this case if you increase the frequency it will be less than 10 because the lines will come close so obviously first option matches with the condition because we are saying on increasing the tension more beats per second are heard so this is possible only in 490 hertz case okay now if we will say in ydsc see lambda i can give you a shortcut here students lambda means phase wise 2 pi right so lambda by 4 means phase wise 2 pi by 4 that is pi by 2 so in first case delta phi is 2 pi in the next case delta phi is pi by 2 right now what is the formula see i is equals to i max into cos square delta phi by 2 right so when uh, phase difference is actually when phase difference is a uh, 2 pi so would you put it there 2 pi by 2 that is pi so we will say sir in the first case i1 will be equal to i max right this is equation number 1 so what is i and this is equal to i max and this is given as k this is equation number 1 now next time what you do is this you will say sir i2 is i max into cos square pi by 2 upon 2 so you will say sir it is k into 
cos square pi by 4 cos pi by 4 is cos 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 whole square will be 1 by 2 so your answer will be k by 2 do you understand yes let's move it so here let's say initially it was epsilon naught a upon d now after this so initially it was a single capacitor now these are actually two capacitors right so let's say this is c1 let's say this is c2 what is c1 let me write down here c1 will be epsilon naught a upon d by 2 that is 2c right c2 will be k epsilon naught a upon d by 2 now what is k k is 4 so it will be 8c right so 1 by c equivalent because they are in series will be 1 by 2c plus 1 by 8c that is 5 by 8c so you will say sir c equivalent is 8 by 5 c so c equivalent upon c will be 8 is to 5 third option correct understood this option is correct everybody knows electric potential is constant inside initially constant and then it reduces so constant and then v is inversely proportional to r this is a very simple question see what we want is the rays to come out parallel right so i want is this condition that the rays are coming like this so if they meet here and you want these rays to become parallel once again so what will you do you will say sir let's keep a concave mirror here so that this point is also the focus of this concave mirror right that means this distance is 5 centimeter and this distance is 20 centimeter right so that these rays after coming here will become straight lines now you might wonder sir how it happened let me explain just hang on a minute see for a for a concave mirror this happens for a diverging mirror this happens right or vice versa is also true see for a concave mirror if you keep the object at focus it will become like this for a diverging mirror if you you know put the rays like this so that it appears to meet at focus it will become parallel right so this second concept we have used here so for the concave mirror it appears that the rays are meeting at its focus so if the if to the concave mirror it appears that the rays are coming and meeting at its focus it will diverge the rays and make them parallel so the overall distance will be 15 centimeter now here obviously due to this current i1 there will be a magnetic field inside right but the problem is this magnetic field is not constant it is mu naught i1 by 2 into this distance x so as x increases b1 reduces and so the force so if you take a look at this wire so it will experience a force in which direction what is that what is the for formula for force that it experiences i times vector l cross vector b now where is length vector length vector is in this direction right so you see because the current is also going in the same direction because i2 is going outwards so you will say magnetic field is where inside magnetic field is inside so where will be the force i l cross b where is the thumb going up that means the force will be upwards but as as you move ahead the force keeps on reducing because the magnetic field is reducing so since the forces are un, 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 non-uniformly distributed across the midpoint so it will experience a torque like this clockwise direction so the rod cd will move upward and turn clockwise at the same time so option c is correct 
got it now here find the intensity of magnetic field at a distance r by 2 from a straight current carrying wire see what is the formula of magnetic field mu not i by 2 r so v is inversely proportional to r so if you reduce the if you reduce the radius to half magnetic field will become twice now here suppose this is the wire and its length is l and pole strength is plus m and minus m so magnetic moment is m into l now you turn this wire into this so that the effective length becomes 2r again the pole strength will not change now this time the magnetic moment will be small m into 2r now what is the relationship between r and l see l must be equal to pi r because length will remain same so you will say it will be m into 2 into l by pi so m dash will become 2 by pi times capital m which option matches second option matches okay very simple here you will say sir very simple logic emf induced is delta magnitude wise delta phi by delta t okay so emf upon resistance is current that is 1 by r delta phi by delta t on an average i am speaking right now what is i i is delta q by delta t is equals to 1 by r delta phi by delta t so delta q becomes change in flux upon r this is important right so you just have to find out what is the change in flux divided by resistance you will get the charge that has flown now they have already said that the ring is then turned to a position parallel to the field so initially it is perpendicular to the field that means theta 1 is 0 degrees theta 2 is 90 degrees do you understand so what is initial flux ba cos 0 ba cos 0 is what cos 0 is 1 final flux will be what P A cos 90. Cos 90 will be what? Zero degrees. So let's keep the negative sign also with us. No problem. So you will say sir, delta Q will be minus of one by R into delta phi is phi two minus phi one. Phi two is zero. Phi one is B A. So it will be B A upon R. Now you put the values, you will get this answer, right? Okay, what is uh, frequency? Resonating frequency is one by two pi into one by root over L C. So if you increase L, like to make it two L, and C will be C by eight. So obviously, frequency will become two times, right? You can put the values and check. So frequency will become two times. So answer will be five hundred into two. That is one thousand kilohertz. Got it. Now the next is forty fifth question. Which of the following statement is correct? See the longest wavelength means lowest energy transition. Lowest energy transition, right? So this is Lyman series. So for Lyman series, what is the lowest energy transition? This. And for Warmer series, what is the lowest energy transition? This red one. Right. Obviously, we know that this transition is 10.2 electron volts, and this is uh, less. Obviously, less than 10.2 electron volts. This this transition is lesser. So we will say that the lowest energy transition of uh, of this. Uh, we we need to say that lowest energy transition of Balmer is. Less than lowest energy transition of Lyman, right? Lowest energy transition means highest wavelength of Balmer is greater than highest wavelength of Lyman, and they have written the same thing. The longest wavelength in Balmer is longer than the longest wavelength in Lyman. So, in terms of energy, you can deal and then convert it back to wavelength. Then also you will get the right answer. Do you understand? Okay. See, this is minus thirteen point six, right? And uh, this is what minus three point five. Okay. 
this is minus 1.58 something like that whatever it is i don't remember the exact value but you can do it i am confident right so obviously this difference is greater obviously this difference is lesser and this difference is greater 46 okay momentum delivered is c momentum delivered will be in case of reflecting surface it is 2p that is 2h by lambda put the value get your answer here initially c we will say that nv is nv dash nv dash is initial concentration upon 2 to the power number of half lives right so like they are saying that for after three half lives of a and half life see half life of a is two times the half life of b right half life of a is two times the half life of b that means three half lives of a means six half lives of b so can we use this formula Now final concentrations are same so I will say nb upon 2 to the power 6 is equals to na upon 2 to the power 3 so nb upon na will be 8 upon 1 okay in a common emitter mode we know that voltage gain is equals to current gain into R output upon R input so this is v output upon v input is equals to delta i current gain is beta that is 50 given so this is output resistance is 5000 upon 2000 so it will be how much uh, obviously thousands will get cancelled 50 25 fives are 125 right is to 1 so v output will be what input is 10 millivolts so 125 into 10 upon 1000 so i guess v output will come out to be 1.25 volts okay now here okay so separation delta x is given 1.25 centimeter phase difference is coming pi by 3 so we know that k delta x is equals to delta phi that is 2 pi by lambda into 1.25 is equals to delta phi centimeter so delta phi is pi by 3 so let's solve it pi and pi will get cancelled right so lambda will be 7.5 centimeter so speed will be lambda into frequency so 7.5 upon 100 into 1000 that is 75 meter per second which option is correct first option question number 50 very simple a person i should say the listener right so the listener is and these are the sources so listener is moving away from one source and moving towards one source with a speed u so he will listen see frequency f0 and f0 but from a he will listen a frequency f1 and from b he will listen f2 obviously f2 will be greater than f1 and given that f2 minus f1 is 10 got it now what is f1 f1 will be f0 into what is the formula the listener come the speed of the listener comes on the top since it is going away so the frequency will reduce so we will say sound speed minus speed of the listener upon speed of the sound again according to the formula f2 will be frequency is increasing it will be v0 plus u upon v0 so if you take the difference after taking the difference you will say sir delta f is equals to f0 into 2u upon v0 now you put the values and you will say u comes out to be 2.5 meter per second got it students that is all for today from my side i have discussed all the 50 questions and i hope you must have understood the solution this was a very easy paper i should say or i should say very balanced paper so this was an absolute balanced paper 
okay there could have been some more tough questions but okay it's absolutely balanced and easy for you all and i really hope that those who have done a great job in this paper must have scored more than 150 marks out of 180 okay thank you all of you students for watching this video and do subscribe to our channel and support us by subscribing and liking the video thank you so much tada goodbye